Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review the huge base camp saw from MSR Mountain Safety Research. Is this possibly the best camping snow ice saw on the market today? Let's find out. Is the huge MSR base camp snow saw from, uh, or I guess it's MSR from MSR, the best snow saw on the market? I say very likely. Now, as you can see, let me stand back. This thing is huge. Now, often when people go into the mountains, they use a much smaller saw to cut snow blocks. But if you need to cut a lot of stuff and snow, in a very short time, this might be the saw for you. But before I go on, if you could please take a moment and just click the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the video or scroll in the little arrow into the comments section and hit subscribe, that would totally help my channel out. It doesn't cost you anything hitting the subscribe button, but it does help me out a lot so I can keep bringing this information to you. Thank you. So let's talk about this MSR base camp saw. Now you say, Aaron, I mean, this thing is huge. How in the heck am I going to put this in my backpack? Now, how huge is this saw? Well, let's find out, shall we? From tip all the way down to handle, down to the handle, so from the tip all the way down to the handle is ugh, almost 30 inches. This thing is massive. And you say, isn't that going to be a little ungainly and very difficult to put into my backpack? No, because MSR was smart enough. Check this out. Now, it has a little lock and a hinge and push to unlock. So you simply push this button here and you'll see the back pop out there. And as soon as you push this, the saw, slides into itself. Now it makes a very satisfying sound. Let's listen to that again. And I'll uh, stop talking so you can hear it. Sweet. Love it. Now all of a sudden the huge base camp saw is much more reasonable. How long is this base camp saw? All right, well, I'm going to get our handy dandy tape measure out. And we're going to measure from the top of the saw down to here. And now all of a sudden it breaks down to a much more reasonable 17 and a half inches. Now, why would you want such a huge saw? Well, if you're chopping up a lot of snow blocks for your camp on Denali, if you're camping in Minnesota, in Wyoming or wherever, or even Alaska, and you need to cut up a lot of snow blocks to either protect your tent, perhaps make an igloo, you, you're going to struggle with your options because the, the smaller snow saws definitely, I would say, cut faster so that they, they have more aggressive teeth. So they cut through the ice, but they can only cut about this deep, maybe really that deep. However, you get this ridiculously huge saw out, and this is where you can push the button to release. Let's say push the button to release here. You can release this thing and open it up. And now it becomes Mondo Saw. Now, notice too, the teeth, although they are sharp to snow because they bite right here, it doesn't, here, listen to that. That doesn't cut my hand at all. So that is a, another huge thing. Also on your jacket, it, it won't totally rip your jacket like a regular folding saw will. So that's an advantage. Also, when you're trying to build snow blocks, for building an igloo or other walled structure, often you want to be very consistent with your measurements. And you'll see here, let me flip this upside down, these little centimeter marks to the 30 centimeter mark, and then it keeps going to the 50 centimeter mark. This allows you to measure your snow blocks very consistently. So if you're building a structure where this, the snow block size actually matters and you need to be consistent, you don't have to bring a tape measure out 
and do something ridiculous like this when all you have to do is look at your base camp saw and it has the markings along here. Now, I've used this saw in multiple locations in Wyoming and Alaska, and check it out. I mean, this thing barely has any scratches on it, and that's more where I was winging on the ice just for a minute. But I mean, this, uh, I think it's 60, 65 aluminum, which is really tough. It doesn't sound like much, but it really does a good job. Now, another advantage of this saw, because it's so big, is the blade is not straight. And you might say, hey Aaron, what's the big deal with that? Well, if the blade was straight, you actually had to put a lot more pressure downward to make the saw saw up the ice and snow. Now, this isn't a hard ice, uh, this is a styrofoam snow type saw. If you're cutting ice, like rock hard ice, like on a lake or something, you're gonna have to get a totally different tool. This is meant for camping on Everest and Denali and K2, all those other things. This tool is great. But you'll notice that this edge curves slightly, but the edge up here drops quite a bit. So as you draw the saw, it actually naturally puts a little bit of weight into your cutting action. And that makes cutting your snow cubes and your snow blocks for your camp much, much better. Also, notice this massive handhold. Now, I don't have my gloves on with me because I'd be like melting, roasting hot, but this handle right here allows you to hold with a mitten, a full 8,000 meter Antarctic, Arctic ready mitten to grab this thing. And then really, if you need to start sawing into some harder ice and snow, this tool totally does the job. It's super nice. One nice, uh, one thing I don't like a lot is the handle. I wish it curved a bit so it's easier to pull instead of me pressing down. But generally, the nice part of this is, is if you have a handle that's down here, it makes it, uh, your hand gets in the way and you start bunching and hitting on the ice. So you're normally going to be using this guy with gloves anyway. So let me show you how much this saw weighs. So I'm going to get my handy dandy scale. One moment here, I'm gonna turn on my scale and I'm gonna show you how much this guy weighs and you can see the MSR. And the nice thing is, of course, that the saw folds down and the teeth stay out of the way and because the teeth aren't really that sharp, they're, they're excellent for cutting snow, it's not that big a deal. So I've got my scale on and I will measure and weigh the saw, perfect. And the saw weighs 11.8 ounces. So is it kind of heavy? Absolutely. But is it ridiculously heavy for what you get out of it? No, I wouldn't say so. Now this thing, I mean, it's super, super tough. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture behind me. Hopefully I'll find my igloo picture. I have actually built a real igloo. Now, so I'm talking legit igloo in Wyoming, lots of snow, super cold, and so I've done it. So I know that this saw actually works. Now, one other thing about it is that, the, and that's one thing I don't like about the handle curve, is another thing is the handle feels kind of cheap. It sounds a little bit cheap, but really it's not. I mean, this guy's taken a lot of abuse. Uh, one of the nice things is this too, that the blade goes all the way through like a proper knife does, and then this little area where you can click, click a carabiner, the steel, or uh, sorry, the aluminum, actually goes all the way through, so that makes this a much tougher saw. If you get a snow saw or a knife or something, and the tang of the blade doesn't go all the way through, there's a much higher likelihood of you actually breaking this handle. Now I've squeezed this thing, I've worked it, and I've, I've bashed on ice and snow for years on end, and it's still cruising along. I mean, I'm blown away that the, the oxide coating on here still stays, or maybe it's anodized, this is probably anodized. It stays as well as, as it has, but it has. So I highly recommend this 
base camp. It's called the Base Camp Snow Saw by MSR. If you really need the ultimate in snow saws, there is definitely nothing huger or better than this because I'm not packing a chainsaw up to Nolly to cut ice blocks. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Hit the little arrow on the bottom right hand of your screen, scroll down, add a comment. Also, again, please subscribe to my channel. That helps support me in bringing this to you. It doesn't cost you anything, but it makes my life much easier to do this for you. Also, support me on PayPal and Venmo. Thank you very much for watching.